Hello, people who... Ah, oh, screw it, I'm out of adjectives. Yeah. From now on, I'm just gonna start this thing up with... Nice hearty hello, or maybe... Hey, guys. Possibly even... What up, Diog? Yeah, no, not that one. I just... Like, thought I'd sound cool, but no. Just felt even nerdier. Oh, uh, we have another one of these obelisk things. Um... We'll be finding out what that is pretty soon, actually. Well, maybe a couple videos from now, but... Now that, that is one nasty looking statue. That one eye has such an evil glower. Um, yeah. We, we found this out already, as though. Nothing new there. Just shoot the gun eye again. And head on up. And we have another updraft vortex thing. I, I don't really know what these are called still. I don't know, whatever. Tornado, maybe? Cut our way in here, push a rock, and into the cave we go. And we got another golden kinstone piece. That's pretty nice. Let's just head back over here then. And it seems like we have one more to go. And I'm quite certain I know where that is actually. I feel special. Uh yes, over here, as we saw before when I went the wrong way, there is another statue thing. And there we go. Dead just run on down over here. Don't even feel like popping on the Pegasus boots. <laughs> and there is a cave with the last golden kinstone piece. So let's head back to those statue guys. Make a nice little shortcut here. Um, I have to find out where we are. <laughs> I think I can just head this way. Uh, there's another one of these guys. Ah, shoot. I have to make him jump down this way first. There we go. Fire that way, Link. Don't be an idiot, Link. Ah, shoot. Um. How am I going to do this? There we go. Kill myself in the process. Wow, that was much harder than necessary. Um, okay, all that for a kinstone piece. Are these are no, I like, didn't think so. Whatever. Just hop on down and head back to those guys. Right there. And this one goes with that guy. Hmm, I wonder what he'll do. Oh my god, the same thing. And one last get eye. Hopefully this does it. Otherwise I would kind of suck actually if it didn't. I don't know. But it did. Thank you people. And head on through here. We are in the Wind Ruins. And starting off this place with a nice bombable wall. Let's see what's inside. Blow up faster! Uh, those bombs always take so long. Huh, just a kinstone piece. Nice blue one. And a statue. Let's see if we can push it. Oh. No, it comes to life it looks like. Okay. Just kill that guy off. And head down here. We have levers. Oh, those guys get so annoying in Ocarina of Time. Which, just the other day, I actually beat that game. Or, Master Quest, at least. Um, another statue got a... Um, but it doesn't look like he's turned on. So let's shrink down and look around. Yes, so I have officially beaten three Zelda games. 
pretty cool. That one was probably my favorite. Master Quest. Uh, let's see what this guy has to say. Those iron automata uh, here were built by the Minish ages ago to help the humans. But they tried to kill me. It's kind of a secret, but there's a secret. Uh, there's a switch inside that turns them on and off or off. Okay, let's go find that. So, yeah, I was actually, um, when I played, I was playing Master Quest, and I was also watching, turn that guy on, a Let's Play of the original, uh, Ocarina of Time. I guess it's Ocarina, but Ocarina is easier to say, so I'm going to say that, whatever. And so, um, basically, I like Master Quest a lot better, actually, um, because they tend to give you... The, it seems like they tend to give you the dungeon item towards the beginning of the dungeon, and um, and then they use it a lot more during the dungeon. I mean, some parts aren't as good, but for the most part, I liked what they did with that. And there we go. Kill those three guys. Makes that disappear. Um. Yeah. Oops. Stone piece. Ah, dropping bombs. It's a really good game. If you haven't played it, go pick it up. Unfortunately, the dungeons are really designed like for the regular game. So the look of there'll be some like random extra things that are there for no reason. And yeah, that kind of gets annoying. But I mean, what can you do? Okay, shrink down, turn up here, to, uh, run down here, we'll create a nice little shortcut by cutting all the grass, otherwise we'd have to go all the way around. And head back, and go kill that guy. Big, now we can head down here. Touch him, da! There we go, pretty easy. Make a shortcut so we don't have to do that again. Ah, uh, there are three of these guys right here. Just kill them pretty easily. Oh, and it looked like the one on the left just ran away. Down to there. Um... We'll take a look at that after we grab these two chests that appear by killing those three guys. Hmm. A nice hundred rupees and fifty mysterious shells. Um, hmm. It looks like he's blocking our path. Let's just head back then and put him, reset his spot and shrink down. Because if we turn him off before he gets down there, then we should be able to walk on through just like that or more roll on through see I just rolled through there uh, more concern pieces ah oh, killing rocks because there are some enemies inside of some of these and I don't want them to kill me first like that And once you kill all the enemies, just as before with the tech dikes, uh, the two statues will appear. Actually, it also happened with the uh, automatos. Uh, those levers are pretty annoying. And here we are inside of the Fortress of Wind. I think that's what it said. Um, middle path? Sounds pretty good. Hmm, to think the ruins were hidden within this cliff the whole time. Watch your step, Link. There may be traps in here. Ooh, hearts. What's in here? Another heart. Om nom nom nom. Because I like to eat hearts. Oh, they're probably all bloody and gross. So, um, yeah, some staffos here. Pretty easy to kill. You can just wait for them to jump and then. Oh, why does he keep jumping on? If you're standing right next to him, he'll usually just jump over you like that. And another way to kill them is just stun them with the boomerang, but I'm too lazy to get that out right now. 
Oh, I have to go to the menu anyways, though. To get out my bow. Take care of some more of these guys. And there we go. He's dead. And let's see what's in here. You found a dungeon map. Check it out. Uh, check it on your map screen. Blah, uh, blah. Heard it before. Whatever. Come down here. Take care of this guy. And dead. I guess you didn't really need to kill him, but I just felt like doing it anyway. And we have two locked doors. Um, so it looks like we'll have to find some keys for those and come back. What's down this way? Um, switch. Looks like we'll need to get that statue thing out and some more wall things. But we can't really do anything about those right now. So let's head back on downstairs. And take a look in one of those other areas. Grab a heart. Left. Left, I say. Sounds pretty good. Ah. Screw the Staphos. Staphos. Ah. <laughs> uh, and killer schools of death. And there we go. Ah. Uh, right there. Last time I recorded this. Um, I had my hard drive got full again, and I spent an hour just emptying out stuff so I could finish up five minutes of recording, because I was stopping right here, pretty much. And so, and then the recording glitched, so I was pretty pissed at my recording program there. And, you know, I'd probably use a different recording program, but I don't, like, I know better ones, but I don't really want to deal with learning how to do that again. Um, no, oh, these guys, uh, if you, the only way to kill them, I think, is with the boomerang, and when you do that, they will turn into a fairy. Or, oh, okay, that one's obviously fake. Um... Yeah, and then I don't even want to deal with my editing program after that, because I hate my editing program. I, I have a better one, much, much better one that I would prefer to use, but it would require me to render the video out multiple times, and I'm afraid of loss in quality, so not going to do that. I'll get up the arrow quickly, and shoot these things in the... Okay, miss. Shoot these guys in the eye miss again fall in a hole you know that's how you do it obviously let's shoot that one first okay um let's try this again okay one two there we go and head on through um okay it looks like we have two switches to activate and we can do that now with our newly found splitting power so let's go ahead and do that, which will activate these guys, and let's, we will kill them both, if we can, because I suck. It's not your guys' fault, no. Definitely all me right there. And two, dead. And chest. Sweet. Let's open it up. Yes, the compass. No, the compass is cool. Uh, in the 2D Zelda games, map and compass aren't really the best of items, but in the 3D, they are definitely, definitely your friend. Ah. Uh, okay. It looks like we've got a lever down there to pull. But, ah, oh, damn it. Um, yeah. We are out of time, so we'll. I'll meet you back up there next time, and we will go pull that lever and continue on in the dungeon. See you then. Ah!